All right, what I'm up to right here is I just want to show you the difference between a VCO and a SAC. Uh, SAC type nozzles, rumor on the street is they're just better. Well, rumor on the street is probably wrong. Not all the time. What I'm saying is SAC has its place, so does VCO. On the day-to-day -day drive, when you're tipping in the gas pedal and you're getting out of the gas pedal and you're pulling up to the stop sign and you're pulling away from the stop sign, come to a stop light, you let it sit there and idle, VCO stuff traditionally is going to be very, very smooth and it's extremely accurate in how much fluid you're going to get into the contribution. So it drives off the stop light very, very well. Smoke emissions is quite well controlled with VCO. Problem with VCO is it's metal to metal contact for the most part. Meaning when the needle valve comes down into the tip of the nozzle, there's actually like nothing wet down there left to cool off the tip of the nozzle so if we take a look at this screen i'm going to show you this band is right where the needle valve comes in with an opposing angle it seals right there and then the needle valve actually enters all the way down mechanically clear into that hole and it closes off metal to metal contact just about right on top of those holes when the needle valve lifts off, it acts like a plunger. Fluid then begins to spill through those spray orifices. So in an application where you're in a marine, like a boat, for instance, captain gets in, pushes the throttle, and he's like on his way to Alaska from Mexico. It's going to be there for three days straight. And a VCO nozzle will not live in that application because as the piston comes up, it makes heat. Piston goes down, nozzle has time to cool off. In a pickup truck where you're only going to be driving like that for you know a few hours at a time at best on the freeway you're not going to destroy these nozzles again driving off a stop sign kind of pulling up to the hill driving off the stop sign going up a hill vco has really good street managers for that kind of stuff in a boat or in a tractor where you drop the plow put the plow on the ground and then the farmer just goes for the next eight to ten hours 12 hours vco nozzle not the right nozzle for that application and here's why. The SAC tip itself is cooled by the diesel that's getting ready to be fired for the next injection event. So we can't really see the spray orifice as well here, but down in this area, all of this area on the outside looks like way less like an ice cream cone and more like a T. So this is the band where it seals. Everything below that band is gonna hold fluid. Now fluid dynamically has a very, very good way of cooling things down. So bear in mind, this fluid is only a couple hundred degrees at best. So injector opens, contribution happens, injector closes. There's a little bit of fluid stored right in the very tip of that nozzle and it helps cool the tip down. The tip's gonna last a lot longer in the high duty cycle applications. Plowing, implements, constant steady load. If you've got a prop in the water, and you're gonna be in the water for just days on end. The, the SAC type stuff will live much, much better there. We use SAC. Common rail technology is totally different. Common rail is not like the mechanical stuff. It's way more accurate, way more precise, and the SAC that we use in common rail is very, very small compared to this kind of stuff. Um, SAC type in a mechanical injector, it'll outflow a VCO because you can put, depending on the diameter of the SAC, you can put bigger holes there. Problem with that is, is a great big hole and a little bit of a dribbly SAC. When you take your truck and you pull up to the stoplight, that thing's gonna sit there and have a little bit of a lope at idle. Well, if you want your truck to sound like some old Chevy with a big block and a 396 back in 68, this is for you. But it is not going to drive as good. It's not going to be near as street friendly. And if you tow very often, probably not the right injector for you. Uh, gas mileage, definitely going to be a little bit worse with a SAC type nozzle in mechanical. But VCO stuff on the street, definitely the more street friendly. So our Ecos, our 50s, our 75s, and our 100s, that's always going to be VCO type stuff anything over that where you've already got aftermarket tuning you've got aftermarket turbochargers you've probably done some transition work you've probably done some motor work you've got a camshaft we offer bigger injectors in a sack for you guys just remember it's not going to be near as street friendly as a completely stock pickup truck 
So pros and cons to SAC versus VCO. I just wanted you to know what it really is and it's not just uh, all nozzles are better in SAC or all nozzles are better in VCO. It's not that way. It's for your application. Thanks.